advised. Hey everyone, welcome to the discussion for Flourish. Now, this game was so delightful. I loved it. I, I enjoyed it quite a bit. Um, which is not too surprising considering that Starling has a tendency to have games that on their surface look extremely like gateway mm -hmm. or family weight mm -hmm. um but having a deeper level of of i guess complexity mm -hmm. um strategy strategy to it Same everdell thing. is a perfect example of being like oh it's about cute little animals and you're like okay <laughs> so i need to do my tableau it's springtime now <laughs> and they did it it has a similar vibe here because you have to play the three the three cards next to each other and you're you're scoring based off where they're at and then doing end of round scoring as well as end of game scoring uh, so I backed this game on a whim. I was like, oh, okay, it's about gardens. It's Starling, sure. Uh, Cat will probably really like it. Uh, we'll, uh, we'll give it a shot. And I was surprised at how much I actually enjoyed it. So what do you, what do you guys think? What are your initial thoughts on, on Flourish? I thought it was just excellent. Just super cute. Um, even though I do have the, f the Fungus Among Us garden, I love it. Like, yeah. it's so aesthetically pleasing and so is everyone's in, like, a different way. It's mm -hmm. so cute. Yeah. Right up my alley. And yeah. I love that it has a cooperative version and a... And a competitive. And, a competitive and like, there's nothing that changes. You don't have to... It's not like a whole separate, like, section of the rule book. You literally play the game the exact same way. The difference is, oh... You, you don't could, pass helpful things. Yes, <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you have to try and... You still have to pass stuff to someone, um, but it's you... You're being a little more, I guess cutthroat about it mm -hmm. but you also still have to pass to something that they might have in their hand where it's like oh i don't know the other four cards you have in your hand you yeah. might be like ha ha or i don't remember which two you best me exactly <laughs> <laughs> i hope i guessed the right one right so uh so i mean that, that is great the fact because a lot of games whenever it's like ooh, it can really play it can be played cooperatively and competitively it's like okay so it's gonna do neither of them well <laughs> but uh, here, I think they, they went about it the right way. I love, like, kind of, like, beat your own score, especially, because this would be played solo as well, mm -hmm. and you're just trying to beat a threshold. Uh, those kinds of games uh, and variants are always good for me. So, Brett, what do you think? Um, uh, not as strong. Um, I, I definitely enjoy the theme, and I definitely like the quality. Mm -hmm. You know, and it's got lots of little cardboard pieces to put together. Yep. But once they're together, I hope the box is big enough that you never. Don't it is have to actually. Them it came with a insert, like oh. a, a custom oh. insert, which ha looks like a garden, but, like the, oh, the vine oh, walls oh. around it. Nice. Um, and it shows you how it goes back in the box. So oh, yes, nice. thank you, Starling, for actually making a fucking game <laughs> that has 3D pieces that you've specifically designed to fit back in the box. And and thick enough that they're going to last a while. Exactly. Now, putting them apart. together wasn't the funnest, but they do have it to where, yeah, like, a lot of games I've played, these are, like, super loose. Mm -hmm. So, like, you pick it up and the thing falls out. No, these yeah. are all very well uh, positioned. It's not too tight that you're bending them to try and get them in the spots. Yeah. Um, but not too... It's, it's really good quality. Yes. So, turning to gameplay. Yep. Um, for me, again, this is something that I... I if I were playing c competitively... I know I'd overthink it, mm -hmm. and I know I'd over-strategize it and slow things down, and, and there is great opportunity for that. Yeah. Um, that's just my personality. Um, if I weren't that way, it would be, wow, that's cool, there's a lot to think about, there's a lot of possibilities, and every time you turn over a card, you're like, okay, i got to think, got to, got to change things, right. shift gears. That's very cool. Yeah. So, you know, I'm, I, for me personally, it's a little bit lower than it would be, I think, for most people. Gotcha. Just because of those reasons. See, I would have thought that this would have actually resonated with you more then because it, it kind of has this to me it almost has the same type of vibe as Splendor because yeah. of the symbols and it's like oh I have now this symbol built so it gives me like this you know this icon mm -hmm. that makes things cheaper mm -hmm. um, but then the opposite it's like oh hey I just want to go for roses so I have this card that gives me points for roses yeah um, the so difference I'm, the difference is um, games like Splendor or King Domino or stuff mm -hmm. there's there's a single linear path toward the goal. Uh, this one, it keeps changing. Sure. And so strategies keep changing, and that's what I think I'm going to get caught up in overthinking. Gotcha. In fact, I was a little bit, and there were a couple of rounds, and I was like, I haven't passed either of you any cards. Damn it. <laughs> I know right. what I want to do. I don't know what I want you to do. Right. And that's, that's more things to think about. I really like the fact that it plays both ways, mm -hmm. and it plays well both ways, and um, so you know, whatever you're in the mood for. Yeah, yeah. That's, that's fantastic. Everything about it is really, really great. Um, my personal personality and game style, not as strong as your two's in this particular case. Gotcha. But the cool I thing is, that. 
<laughs> they also do have a, another, a garden show variant, and I thought about doing this because, one, the game also does not overstay its welcome. Yeah. Like, and there's multiple ways you can score points. The It was funny because I was like, man, we're not even going to hit bronze, which we did, because, like, by the time one round was over, we had six points. Yes. <laughs> and I was like, oh, no. And then there was one round where it's like, I don't have any end of round scoring. Oh, none of us do. Great. <laughs> but then then once we started doing end of game scoring, mm-hmm. which is my favorite way of scoring games, it's mm-hmm. just like, oh, okay, boom. I Like, I went from, like, 17 points to 119. You know, yep. and that feels good. Yep. You feel good whenever you're constantly tacking up the dial. And in a co- uh, cooperative setting, it's not like I, I honestly think that this. I mean, it's going to work both ways, but I would probably enjoy this more cooperatively because if I'm sitting here and I'm like, yeah, yeah, I, I'm going, I got a bunch of points, and then you're like, I'm gonna do this, that gives me 40 points. I'm, I'm gonna be like, fuck me, you know. <laughs> if it was co- uh, competitive, cooperative, it's like, yay, yes. you got 40 points, and I helped you, you're, you're right? Yep. Uh, and yeah, and that, it's like, hey, I, combo, <laughs> co- co- don't pass them. So, but if you do want to play uh, competitively, they do have a garden show variant where it actually you play three consecutive games of this, and they have these ribbons ah. that that you go off of, and then the ribbons you you collect over the course of these games, and they're worth points at the end as well. So thematically, you're getting like a tour, you know. Hey, here's my garden. They're like, here's ribbons for you. Mm-hmm. Uh, so okay. it's 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 pretty neat. So surprisingly, a lot of different ways to play the game. Yeah. Um, and and this game, I mean, I feel like it was just on Kickstarter too. So they they pushed it out relatively quick, and it feels solid. Mm-hmm. I'm incredibly Russian. I'm incredibly surprised. Yeah. Uh, I'm just smitten with it. What did you guys think of the Friends expansion? Um, didn't, did, for me, it didn't really add anything. Oh, okay. Um, I, a little bit. But again, getting back to me, complicated layers of scoring and things, that was one more thing to consider, and I completely forgot about them. Yeah. And then I forgot about both of them, and so I just went for these points, and I, I knew from the start I want to collect this type. Yeah. And I just did. See, that's why that's why I think it actually is a great... Because there are basically mm-hmm. mini expansions, because it gives you a goal. Yeah. yeah. In a game where it's just like, oh, start building, mm-hmm. it's just like, oh, you know, what's going to be the way to go? One, you can just look at your six cards and be like, okay, do I have any combos in here? Uh, two, this is just, oh, okay, I get five points for each three pairs of roses I have. Mm-hmm. Neat. Uh, yeah. What do you think? Yeah, I liked them. I think it's cute um, that our friends are like little animals, first of all. Uh, and it does. I, I like that it kind of gives you a starting point because, yeah, if we didn't have them, I probably would just be like, oh, it's like, oh, right. what card are Exactly. <laughs> and yeah. then it also helps you in a co-op game to look at what uh, everybody else has and be like, okay, well, at at least I know he he would need a rose or, oh, yeah. or a vine. True. Because I had to look over at Brett's quite often to be like, what the yeah. hell am I trying to do? What, what, what does he need? Yeah. It does say many creatures such as bees, bats, and even some snakes can be very beneficial to a garden. Avid gardeners will often try to make a welcoming atmosphere for these animal friends. Um, snakes. <laughs> the other thing uh, that is probably the more complicated of the two is the follies, uh, which it does say a folly is a building or some kind of structure designed primarily for decoration and usually serves no other purpose than providing visual interest or whimsy to the surrounding landscape. Yeah, what do you guys think of the folly? I forgot about mine. <laughs> uh, we know. <laughs> Could have gotten silver, but nope. It was harder than you think. Yeah. It was, yeah, because you kind of are sitting there and you're like, you, because what we did is we went for a theme mm-hmm. and then, like, I was. What's great is that if you're going to place a follow, you do get to rearrange the three that are coming in, or the, the three cards. But then it's kind of like, oh, shit, I place that over on the left. Well, I guess I can try and build around it. And Kat obviously did it the best than, than either of us. Um, I guess whenever I placed that, I could have placed that there. It was pure luck, too. Oh, no, I couldn't because, yeah, you only can place these in the first three uh, three yeah. rounds. So, yeah. at the, mm-hmm. so you have to place all five. Mm-hmm. Um, prior and okay. so going for all roses, like I kicked myself because I, I should have just put that here, uh, to to capsize on more points. But then it's that element of like I didn't know that I was also going to get that. Yeah, or, like yeah. you're not. I intentionally held off the first round, 
intending to get more of these, but then I completely forgot about. That's probably the best combination I'm ever going to get. Those. Right, right. So it does add more complexity. Obviously, this came with the Kickstarter stuff. Uh, so it. Uh, oh no. It's it's the, the expansion's definitely not needed, but it does enhance the game a little bit more, and it also I don't think it makes it any more complex. Yeah. At least not for me. It's what an expansion should be, which is yeah. you know we we've got this, we played this a dozen times. Yeah. Now let's add just one more little wrinkle. Exactly. To think about. Yeah. And yeah, it, it sh an expansion shouldn't enhance the bad qualities of the game. Um. <laughs> <laughs> You're gonna keep harping on that. <laughs> like like another game we've reviewed recently, um, but. Yeah, I am. I am pleasantly surprised because I didn't. I expected this to be kind of in the same vein as Sushi Go or Saikatsu or stuff like that, or Point Salad or something like that. Yeah. And no, there is a level of depth. I do like tableau uh, kind of settings and spatial awareness of how you're kind of placing your cards. Mm -hmm. and, I mean, there's still a bunch of cards that we we didn't even go through, um, mm -hmm. like. With, with different ways of scoring, actually, what I kind of want to see, because I wasn't 100% sure if there was another one in here, and as far as I know, there is not. There's only one White Rose. White Rose. Um, oh, nice. And Brett got it first, 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 first thing. hand. So, it is just gorgeous. The box cover, I mean, the, the, the siding is, is gold finish. Mm -hmm. It's it's a pleasant, pleasant and delightful game. Very okay, nice. so bitching time? Very nice. Yeah, you got any negatives? Yes. Go cool. for it. Go ahead. Absolutely. Scoring dials. Uh-huh. Just unnecessary. Or you think? <laughs> yeah. And 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 for me. Yeah. You know, and, and it almost gets in the way. Slows okay. down, fiddly, trying to add things up, and then dial it to I'd just rather have a calculator or pencil and paper. Score pad. I would I I feel almost the same way. I'm not overly fond of them. Um I don't I don't, don't have to use them, of course. Right, yeah. <laughs> that is I, true, you do not. I did grab my calculator, as did you at one point. Um, now it is very aesthetically pleasing. Yes. That mm -hmm. is true. But it's like yeah. the entrance to your garden. Yeah, but yeah. yeah, I also agree where you're kind of like... Like, there was many times where I meant to go right when I accidentally went mm -hmm. left. I'm like, God damn it. Like, but I did not expect that to be a negative. I can do basic math, so I don't have a problem with the score pad. I can add 9 to 7. And figure it's 16, for the record. Well, we're done for tonight, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, Agreed, but then what's the point of doing this if you're just keeping track of it somehow, some other way? True. Uh, they, they went. Uh, they definitely went for aesthetic over... over um, yes, what, okay. What's the word? Yeah. And, and, I mean, that's the tiniest little thing. Sure. It's it's not... It's a problem. It's just that it's, in my opinion, unnecessary. Yeah. Um, why bother even manufacturing and putting it in the box? Yeah, I mean, but you can't make that it. argument for almost any other game with scoring. I, I do. Oh, okay. <laughs> for almost anything that yeah. has this kind of... Because, like, whenever I'm playing, like, Marvel Champions or something and I'm tracking their health, yeah, I could just mark it down and subtract it like yeah. that. Unless uh, it's going to change rapidly, like, in some of the, like, like the card games. Sure. If it's going to change a lot, then I can see that's that. That's true. That's true, yeah. This, this one... It's, it's four times. Yeah. Total. And actually, yeah, that's actually kind of a good point. The only time I did find it annoying was at the very end, yeah. whenever with the cooperative yeah. tallying. You're really right. 119 plus 247. Yep. <laughs> and I was like, ah, all right, <laughs> calculator. Because yeah. you're right, because they broke it up in the sense of hundreds, tens, and ones. Mm -hmm. um, but throughout the game, I didn't have a problem. I actually thought, one, I would actually hate these if these, once again, were loose. Yeah. Because I've definitely had games, or too tight, where you're just like... Yeah, no. <laughs> Got it. And then Ooh. You, like, break your wrist. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. But no. Or if it's too loose, where it's like time to go uh, one over and <laughs> and it's just spinning. Yeah. Uh, or it so, doesn't hold the score round around. Yeah. Drifts a little. Yeah. You're like shit. Okay. Did I have you know twenty or why do I why am I at seventy? Why am I adding to uh yeah. yeah. So okay, the quality well, of these are really good. Excellent. But yes, they they are I guess unnecessary. Because um, you are probably at the end of a cooperative game, you're just gonna be like, anyway, what has everyone got? Yeah. Let's just add that up real quick. Mm -hmm. As much as it, yeah, as much fun as it as it is to get all those points all at once, you're, it does that. After a while, you're like, oh, yeah. Like, <laughs> all right. Uh, was was there any other negatives? Oh no. Any no. negatives? <laughs> no. I have uh, no negatives. Yeah. Because I, I didn't have any. Because <laughs> you were like, oh, bitching time, and I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> These <laughs> damn score pads. I hate this game. It takes out a lighter. It's too green. There's just green everywhere. I hate gardens. 
That's what mine's all mushrooms. I am. If it were wrecked cars <laughs> and planes. If it was oil being spilt in the ocean, right up my alley. You know what? That actually. You know, there could. There's theme it. Funny enough, there was. There is, a, disasters. there is a game called, uh, I think it's called Peak Oil. And it, it's literally about oil drilling. Oh my god, that was the worst. It was a print and play that I had as a prototype years ago. The game did actually come out, and I was like, I don't want that. I do not want to. It can be a Vita Lasagna drill game oil. Of, of manufacturing oil. Right then I'd play, that. I'd, I'd play that. I'd play that. So, other than that, I mean, I guess if we're going to talk about like nitpicking and being aesthetics, uh, what I didn't like, and if this was mainly for recording purposes, these walls serve absolutely no purpose. Yeah. So thematically, it's you're supposed to be like passing stuff into their garden over the wall. Yeah. But for like one recording, I was just like, okay, we're not doing that. You know, yeah. here's your two, and then draw from the top. But, uh, but yeah, like they just a bunch of petty gardeners just chucking clumps right because it's supposed to be like I guess they were trying to find a way for it to be organized so mm -hmm. like I can just grab the two you guys pass me and then yeah. from the top because you put that in the middle. But I didn't mind them. Yeah, I, I thought these were more beneficial than the walls in, yeah. in uh, throughout the game. So all right, and you know what you can also do with these dials, which is pretty cool. My favorite number in the world. You can <laughs> do. Six, 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 Satan. My satanic garden. <laughs> you come and smell the roses, and I cut your face off. Oh my god! <laughs> All right, so on a scale of one to ten, Brett, what are you gonna give it? I don't know. I'd rather play Arkham Horror Third Edition. <laughs> Most people nine. Me personally eight. Well, that's still that's still really good. Yeah. Uh, cat. This is gonna go on my rare list of ten. Of your rare list. I think you have the more tens than any of us. <laughs> Listen, if it is simple, if it is pretty, and if I have a good time, it's a ten. We didn't have any... Well, like, oh, no, you bitched about that scoring no, dial I like it was the worst to, thing I, made in any game ever. You backed off of Brett. And, <laughs> <laughs> no, Can't I, be a perfect game if you have if you don't like the scoring pad. You're right, 9.75. You can if you just don't. <laughs> yeah, I didn't at the end. Um, no... But yeah, I mean, as far as like, hey, do you want to play this time? I'm probably, probably more than likely always going to say yes yeah. to this one. Or I'm going to be like, this is going to be something that I come down here and I suggest. Cool. It also, for the record, does have a two player, um, two player rules where basically you just pass two cards to Good. your neighbor. Good. So, like. So any number up to what seventy five can play. Weirdly enough, I think it actually. Uh, <laughs> no, but it plays up to. Card. Uh, damn it! Probably four. Nineteen. Maybe six. Seven. Seven. Oh yeah, yeah. Because there are there are seven score That's score pads. Two many then, yes. gardeners. I do remember that that uh, was. So so yeah, I mean, I guess technically one to seven because there is a solo variant. Mm -hmm. So, I uh, and it's a drafting game and it's tile laying. So I uh, I'm not going to give it a ten. Uh, I think I'm leaning kind of three. No, <laughs> <laughs> no. Uh, it's definitely a nine though. Like this is a a phenomenal game that I would I would just absolutely love to play um, because this is one of those games that while it doesn't have the biggest uh, level of replayability it, it's in that that same vein of you know Seven Wonders or stuff like that oh let's try and go for this type of scoring or how what what are the cards that are coming my way but while the theme is delightful and it's it's wonderful oh that's not even something we mentioned the artwork is wonderful oh yeah it's it's uh, really really pretty uh, almost photorealistic which just gives you that oh here's my garden which I love uh, it still is about gardens so uh, <laughs> I can't give it quite a ten for that but uh, but yeah so that's uh, nine nine out of ten for me. So, 8, 9, 10. Uh, that is our thoughts on Flourish. Let us know what you think of the game in the comments below. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you. Hey, everyone. Thank you for watching, and I really hope that you enjoyed the video. If you would like to see more of my content, go ahead and click that subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I upload any new content. If you feel like supporting the channel, you can go ahead and click that Patreon link to be taken to my Patreon, and any help is truly appreciated. Other than that, stick around for any, any other run-throughs or reviews or cool top tens or whatever I feel like putting on. Other than that, like, comment, share, and subscribe, and have a wonderful whatever time of day it is for you.